Okay. Oh, wait, my I'm not being shown here. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I took my webcam off. There I go. All right. Now you guys see me, right? <laughs> I'm so sorry I took my webcam off, so of course you couldn't see me. Hey, everybody, how are you all doing? Ha, we started at 9.30 on the dot. We have a great show for you, okay? So we have Anthony Dream Johnson here to join with me. This is a, a way for you all to get to know a lot of the lore to the RP, the red pill space, but I want to uh, welcome him to my platform Anthony, how are you doing? So glad to have you here. Yeah, I'm doing great. I really appreciate you having me on. Uh, I'm not too familiar with the YouTube, but I've been following you on Twitter for quite some time. Yeah. <laughs> and I enjoy a lot of your tweets, and I love how savage you are. And you go after the right people, too. The men and the women, both. Yeah, I don't, I don't take sides. These fake, these fake... <laughs> yeah, exactly. You take no prisoners is what you do, and that's why I love it. Yeah. So I've been retweeting your stuff. I've been posting memes, trying to you know do my part. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, I... I um. Even though I'm a right winger, people think that I'm just going to only go after the left. Like today, I went after uh, Sugar Booty Rob, mm -hmm. you know, saying, tell me something, you women need to stop wearing these. I'm like, what in the world are you? Are you serious? And I was looking for, he did a a commercial. Um, he did a, um, a uh, gay, um, uh, what is called? Hookup. Hookup. Uh, commercial with his boyfriend at the time for a, a, a hookup app that was like a competitor to uh grinder right and i was, this was uh um was this myron Gaines? no 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 no, no. oh well about? yeah well, he, well he's gay too I yeah mean, of he course like he's, he's gay too no no this is <laughs> this is a this is t this is one of tp usa boys but anyway i just wanted to show oh, like yeah. i i don't i go after people on my own side because they're close to me but yes myron yeah. is definitely people people sit up here and say oh tree you just going i was like no 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 no. i said i know gay men when i'm saying it seeing them i said everybody always say that oh you're just calling them gay to be to to use as a slur and, uh, and i'm like no i'm calling them gay because that's exactly yeah. what he is you know saying yeah. but but let's start off because myron, we... myron Gaines is a perfect example he puts dicks in his mouth i'm pretty sure <laughs> they say he's got uh, he's got sugar in the tank my good friend paul calvo said he got a lot of sugar in the tank he got a lot of them I in think the he tank does. he got a lot of you them. have the receipts you have the receipts on your yeah, twitter i I've showed him all of my receipts and then he answered yeah. by the way because of the video because of the video that i showed um about him having like with the picture with him hugged up with his boo and another guy in the bed he stood up here yeah. and he responded to it and i was like what a dumb wow. thing because you know um, and i debunked his response because his response yeah. was just like stupid like saying yeah man i was yep. just waking up like yeah okay but he has all these other videos <laughs> you posted i've seen them before too where he's uh advocating you know, for the homosexual lifestyle mm -hmm. yeah it's easier to be gay it's easier right. to bang guys and it's gay like, men man, give the bro. give the best sex why bother with women because you got to take women yeah, out to how dinner would you, how would you know that well how would you know that if you weren't gay mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah exactly Whatever. But let's get started. Let's start off with the, just the biggest. I want to, you know how you're supposed to save the dessert for the last? I want to start it first. And I want to start Don't it off it. with uh, Donovan Sharp. Now, I want to I want to continue because we were talking backstage. So I want to uh, like uh, continue a little bit of, of that uh, up front where that's how I met you. Uh, I was a heavy lurker into MGTOW Dictionary's uh, Google Hangouts. Back then it was Google Hangouts instead of um, the Streamlabs and the Zoom. We used to have Google Hangouts. And so he used to get him and his Black Pill friends, and they used to go so hard and expose yeah. so much stuff about a lot They're of the groups. They're still on YouTube. They're still on YouTube too, by the way. They, they call it Smash TV now. They changed the channel name. So I think it's Smash TV. If you search Thank that, you, you for up. telling me that. Oh my yeah, God! I they, can't find it. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't find. Cause, well, he got rid of it because I I went I, I I went out. Me and my husband. Well, he was you know he was my boyfriend at the time. Uh, we went out and and uh, I came back two weeks later, and it was gone. And and somebody else had it. And not that it was gone. It was some other guy had the channel. And I'm like, uh, hmm. what what happened to it? Anyway, 
So I loved watching his space. I I learned a lot. Not only it didn't even have anything when when he went on Red Pill Man, he 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 was vicious. But I also learned mm-hmm. a lot about other things that had nothing to do with relationships. You know, what I'm saying it was a he's a very intelligent man, and I really enjoyed listening to him. So you know when you came on, because I remember you coming on a couple of spaces, and then you did mm-hmm. several exposed videos about. Uh, Donovan mm-hmm. Sharp, and that's when I started to learn the rest. Like I would have to say, eighty percent of what I know about him, I learned it from you. So let me ask Thanks. you, how did it all get? How did it all start? I like, how did I meet Donovan? Like, yeah, from the how very did you beginning? meet him? And then how did it? Yeah. How did it blow up? And how? How is it that he was able to grift and and pretend mm-hmm. that he is not the very thing he preached against? So first of all, like you mentioned, there's a big expose you mentioned. It's actually a documentary, as I officially called it. It's mm-hmm. called The Truth About Donovan Sharp. It went viral as soon as I put it out before getting shadow banned. It hit 100,000 views in like maybe two weeks. So it took off pretty well. And it's a three-hour documentary. Yeah, it's, not it's short. long. <laughs> the watch time's crazy. Yeah, it's three hours. And there's even more videos beyond that that are kind of accessories or sequels. Um, mm-hmm. None of them are three hours. Some of them are like five minutes. Some of them are like 20 minutes. But there's like half a dozen after the fact that even or even like a part two. But the part one is the main thing. And it's three hours long. I dropped it as a live stream or a live premiere. People went fucking ape shit. MGTOW Dictionary and all those guys were like, goat, 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 goat. <laughs> people in the chat were going. People in the chat were going. There was like 800 people watching live, which for my channel at the time was really wow. good. Wow. Yeah, because it just got, people were like, they're like, this is better than Game of Thrones. Because it just kept getting worse and worse. And no matter how bad it got, it just got worse. There's like, you know, her coming out as a different age. There's a kid coming in. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. She's married. She's divorced. Like, hold is on, it the niece? Hold on. Is it the daughter? Can I ins- insert right here? Like, yeah, he kept yeah. he kept saying that, yeah, Don, uh, yeah, what is her name again? Devin? Her real, her real name is Cynthia Ashlock, and she goes by Devon Sharp. Oh, Devon, Devon Sharp. Devon. So he her real name is Cynthia Ashlock. Okay. So he was saying something about, oh, well, you know, when I met Devin, you know what I'm saying? She's a solid 10. And he showed a, a picture that yeah! I, didn't even, I, I didn't even know that she was, I didn't even know that this was an old picture until mm-hmm. I think you showed the, the. Uh, Actually, I got it from, I got it from MGTOW Dictionaries. He's the first one. I know the guy who got the original photo. And the first person to publish it was MD, MGTOW Dictionary. He the always, oh, oh my God, that guy is always huge. on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That came up in my research, though, when I was uh, starting to investigate. This three-hour documentary, it came about because I met Donovan a couple years before that. The documentary came out in uh, early 2021, mm-hmm. I think March, early March 2021, late, late February, maybe. And I had met Donovan a couple years before, just on the internet. We started doing, I started a show with another guy named Homo Tomasi or Rolo Tomasi, if you know him, and Richard Pooper. No, Richard wait, Pooper, wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. You yeah. and Ro- Miss Miss Rolo, Grandpa Rolo, did a show together? Grandma Rolo. No, we owned a business together. We owned a business together for almost two years. He used to be at my house all the time. His his mother-in-law lives like not that far from me, north of here, in, or south there, whatever the fuck it is. It's not that far. It's like 45 minutes away towards the beach. And so he would come here a lot for the conventions that I was doing. He was a speaker at my events. The first time you ever saw Ro- Homo Tomasi, Rolo Tomasi, in the world was at my events. Before 2017, you couldn't find a single photo or video of this guy on the internet. His coming out of the closet was at my event. And it got a million views on YouTube, actually, the speech that he gave at our event. And he spoke for us a little bit beyond that. This is before I knew like who he really was. Before I even realized just how fraudulent the manosphere was going to become. I found the Manosphere way back in the day in like 2005, and it's been like the center of my life ever since then. It's been it's been incredible in a lot of ways, but it's also been really sick and toxic. I'd say the past like four or five, six years, mm-hmm. it's gotten us really retarded. And that's that's what you see, and that's what you're after. Right. That's even what the Black Pill guys see, and they're disgusted with it, and they should be. But anyway, yeah, me, Rolo Tomasi, and Richard Cooper, we ran a business together for about two years called the Redman Group, or formerly the Redman Group LLC. And we signed the paperwork for it at my house. They were here for like a week when we actually got things all kind of done for it. Um, there's a whole side story to that. Rolo was trying to use it to destroy my company and destroy my events and kind of take out the talent of the speakers that I had surrounded myself with at the time. That's a story for another day, perhaps. I hate that guy with the passion. 
the fraud father. You ain't the, the only guy. one. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. But I, t- I took charge. Believe me, I took the lead on that. 2019, I chopped his head off on Twitter, and I booted him. And I booted him out of my company too. I mean, I t- he actually had to resign, which was pretty awesome. I still have the document where he uh, where he signed it. It's pretty sweet. I'm gonna frame it on my fucking wall. Cool, cool. Anyway, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Anyway. I gotta I gotta ask this question. I don't know if you know it, but. I do not believe that Rolo is living that lifestyle, the ra- the quote mm. rational to me because I've seen a video of his wife. She looks to me to yep. be the alpha of the relationship. He is not by far living this rational. Uh, I got drunk with his wife. I got drunk with his wife in 2017 in Orlando. It pissed him off so bad. He came up all butter. Me and her were drinking, knocking back Jameson and shooting what? shit. She's not. She's not that bad. No, no, no. Uh, I think she's cool. No, no, no. He is the yeah. problem. But it's like I noticed this: these guys live in alternate mm-hmm. uh, uh, um, identity yeah. online yeah. versus in their real life. Well, let me let me let me be clear and support you. You are correct that she is the alpha of the relationship. Mrs. Tomasi wears the pants. She's I worn the it. pants for twenty years. I knew it. She runs him. She blue balls him. She denies him sex. She's run us her life. She almost she almost divorced him in 2021. This actually went public. Wait, some I videos thought that they did get divorced though. I'm not aware of them getting divorced. I haven't checked in on that. Okay. You probably it's not it's not public record in every state. Like I have access, for example, to the divorce documents of uh, Cynthia Ashlock, Devon Sharp, and her ex husband. Right. These are not public record. I, I had to get these through an alternative source. Ah. They're difficult okay. to, to obtain. It's per state, you know, if it's public or private, the records okay. on that kind of stuff. Okay. But Rolo, I wouldn't be surprised if he got divorced at this point. If she she would divorce him. Absolutely. But she definitely wears the pants and she hates him and resents him and she's disgusted by like anybody else should be who knows him in real life. She should be disgusted with this guy. Mm-hmm. He's like my sister met him one time, my sister Maria. And when he left the house, she was like, Oh my god, that guy's like an alien. <laughs> That's how she described this guy. Because he's like a fucking alien. He's like fucking socially retarded. That most of them are like that. Most of them are like that. Yeah. Some of them like some of them like Rich Cooper are just kind of like dickheads. They're yeah. not like alien, you know, creepy weirdos. But Rolo's like straight up. Rolo has the social skills of Buffalo Bill. I mean, Rolo's a fucking weirdo, oh, wow. man. Yeah, yeah. A lot of them are like that. A lot of them are fucking weird. Yep. <laughs> so yeah all this like alpha big dog i'm rollo used to call himself for example you can look up on his blog and he said it openly he used to call himself a lesser alpha male a lesser alpha male mm. no he's never been an alpha male he's a beta male he's a cut he's absolutely. actually a gamma male absolutely just like a super beta male yeah 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 with all the gossiping I, he does and his obsession with women and him just yeah. like he re, the, the what britney and lauren did he still and and of course yeah I know. Des- he's, he's still butthurt. He's, he's still, still butthurt. Butt about- and I'm like, wait a minute. I thought mm-hmm. men are not supposed to argue with women. I, I mean, because I thought you guys are just supposed to be the No, he didn't just one. argue. He got played by those girls. He sure those did. Those conserva hoes. Woo, good they, on them, too. They, I don't usually they, like them, but good for them. Oh, no, they they're my buddies. I them. love them. And they I was ran like, a train. They, they ran sh- a train on his ass. <laughs> they and did. And I loved it. And he's still mad about it, though. He's still mad about it. He's like a bitchy woman. No yeah. offense, but he's like the yeah. bitchiest. No, 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 no offense taken. He is like them. a woman. That's why I called. I was like, like that's why I call him it... Grandma uh, Tomasi. Because I was like, this is this well, here, is not what a man supposed to act like. Hang on. Here's the funny thing. Rolo Homo, homo Tomasi, Rollery Tomasi is what I call him usually. Now, you've probably seen him bitch about what he calls older post-wall women, right? Mm-hmm. Club girls and po- post-wall, all this shit. Do you know what Rolo did, you know, about 20 years ago? What? He got married to, after he knocked up, he married an older post wall woman. His wife is older than him. Yeah, she, she was is, like but 32 how much? and he was 30. She's only like two years older than yeah, him. Yeah, it's only like two five, years five, older, five. but it's still old. Older, though. Um, but course, she was past 30. She was past the wall. Oh, in his own fucking according book. to the He's philosophy. Okay, 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 been, okay, okay. I exactly, get it. I get it now. Exactly. I get it now. I, I understand now. Yeah. And he could have done a lot worse. He could have done a lot worse than a retired club slut. But you know, this is but this is the reality. He's been bitching for twenty years on the internet about older post wall women. What did he do? Married a post wall woman. But you know, isn't that do, the normally do, the, do the, as I say, not as I men, do kind of thing? Yeah, right? but these men are that way though. You know, what I'm saying stuff. They're even, all like that. They're yeah, all like that. So it's like, yeah. 
I'm, I'm like this one. I'm like, I can't take these men. Sit. Well, nobody, the women, nobody, no woman of any of any character is going to listen to them. But anyway, okay, we sidetracked off of I that. Walk, I walk my talk. This is just be clear. Like, I walk my talk. I have a young, you know, very fertile young white, you know, white woman. I love my little white girl up here. Very, you see my baby. Like, I love her so much. And you know what? She's she's eight years younger than me, eight and a half years younger than me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And she's thin. She's beautiful. And she was not post wall. I didn't meet her at some club like Rolo. And I haven't bitched about older post wall women either for 20 years. Yeah. So, yeah, there's a few there's a few guys who actually do what they say. But the other nine out of 10 in this online space of men, it's just it's just absolute fraud. It's fraud at a level you wouldn't believe. Mm, mm, mm -hmm. Anyway. OK, so I'm sorry. I rest we... my case for now. <laughs> Well, your daughter is absolutely beautiful. I, 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 um, I, I, I never seen your fiance, but I'm like, I think like you make sure you, you probably do like I do. I keep my husband off the internet. I mean, his identity. So I think that is that what you're no, doing? No, Alyssa's. No, Alyssa's on there. You'll see her. And she she's a smoke is. Show. I mean, she's like. Oh hell, man, yeah. do you... why do you think my daughter? Why do you think my daughter's so beautiful? I mean, it's half me. Of yeah, course, but aren't but like, you, you know, like, aren't you like a concern about? Uh, crazy people, you know, um, I know you're a protector, but I'm just saying like, um, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've had death threats at my house. Honestly, I've had creepy shit show up in my mailbox. People like threatening me and kind of harassing me and shit. Yeah. Never mind <clears throat> dumb shit on the internet, but that's more usually just nonsense. Yeah. But no, I mean, I take self-defense very seriously in the safety of my family. But yeah. the first person to try to harm me or my family has a death wish. Yeah, they do. Like, and that's what I'm saying. Really I, don't think, do it. I think we're at the age right now where people just take it a little too far. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, I mean, oh, so that's I, that's the only thing is like I'm... I'm uh, I'm not uh, concerned for her, but I was just wondering, like you know, I know you said she she's she, on Twitter. I know she's you said she she likes, she, she likes my tweets and everything like that. That's a very oh, that's yeah. a nice thing, oh, yeah. you know. So, so I didn't know she yeah. was doing that, you know, undercover or whatever. But okay, cool. All right, yeah. but anyway, I'm so sorry. So let's get back on Donovan. So okay, so she was so what you left off is is that you know you fired Rolo. You know, with the business. Well, let me put it this way. Let me put it this way. Most of the poison that I've had to deal with in my life in some way, shape, or form came from Rollery Tomasi, including Conovan Sharp that we're talking about here. Okay. I was introduced to Conovan. I had seen Conovan on a website maybe once or twice, but I didn't really know him or anything about him. Uh, Return of Kings by another guy. But I didn't really know anything about him. I never talked to him, never emailed him, nothing. And it was Rollery, Homo Tomasi, who introduced me to Conovan. On the first or maybe second episode of the Redman Group, mm -hmm. which is kind of like an online show that we used to do a lot. I still run it sometimes now, but it's more of a one-on-one -on -one these days. But anyway, I was introduced to Conovan in that way. And that was, I think, the very beginning of 2018. Uh -huh. And then later that year, Conovan and Cynthia, um, his uh, beluga whale uh, wife, his big old Miss Piggy, she came to the event, uh, my event in Orlando that year, the 11-year uh, anniversary of my event. And Conovan was a speaker there. And I got to meet Cynthia. It was dark. You know, I didn't see how fat she was at the time and huge. <laughs> but uh, but she was, it was pretty rough looking. Actually, credit to Richard Cooper, you know, Richard Pooper. He was the first speaker to um, in private, me and about half a dozen speakers. He was like, did anybody see, you know, his, his wife's his girl? Like, she's disgusting. Like, everybody expected her to look better and she didn't. She was like gross. And that was even like in the dark, like seven o'clock at night in the hallway. The lighting isn't that good. And even then you're kind of like, whoa. And then, but then people in the internet are like, oh, so why didn't I kick him out of the event immediately? It's like, it's not that simple when someone flies across the country and they bring their girlfriend yeah. and she's signif significantly less than you expected. But what I do is just, just start throwing speakers out the front door. Like this is, this is real life. There's like 200 guys here waiting to see a speech, you know? Like, right. So anyway, that's how I met him uh, online and then in person. And then the relationship developed as time went on. And I can get into that, but the documentary itself is three hours, and it covers it covers all these little so much. But it's like I, it, with that, and then also what I've I've learned from MD, it was like I was like, whoa, how is he? How is he? Is it? Do you think the reason why he has he still has a small following, but he still has a following nonetheless? Do you think <clears throat> that following is because those people don't know those men don't know his backstory? With him and Devin? Yeah, let's talk about that because I have a lot to say on this. Okay. So he does still have a small following. I made a huge dent in that. For example, his Patreon in 2021 
was way bigger than it is now. Um, in the year following my documentary, his Patreon dropped by 75% oh. revenues and, and members. And this was damp. This was his main source of income at the time. It was doing much more than the YouTube channel, much more than his website. His Patreon was the bulk of his income. It was like 30 to 40% of his, all of his income for his entire fucking life. And wow. I destroyed it. And never mind who knows what else happened with his website sales, things that are more private. But Patreon, you have some access to the data, the way he managed it. And you can actually see it dip. There's actually websites, kind of like Social Blade yeah. on YouTube. <clears throat> there, there's equivalents for Patreon. You could see it just start dropping right when I dropped my documentary. Because all the guys that had any common sense at all who were following him, and we had shared fans because he had spoken at my events. He had had me on a show many times. He interviewed me about private marriage, that thing he just did in Miami. That He got that idea from me because mm -hmm. I did that in my own life with a previous wife yeah. um, back in 2014. Yeah. And I was trying to manage the dangers of legal divorce and marriage today. Mm -hmm. I was just trying to protect myself, and Donovan found that interesting. Conovan. Um, where was I going with this? So there's a train of thought. But he got um, legally, from, from the paperwork that was shared, they were legally married many several years ago. No, no, no. Not that I know of. Not that I know of. I don't even think they're married. They're legally married yet. Oh, this is what I wanted to say too, though. Hang on. Let me. This you're gonna love this. Okay. I promise. So you're saying that Donovan still has a following. That's true. It's it's gotten much smaller, particularly in the ways that matter, like the money. Conovan is a fraud. All he cares about is money, and the money has like been tanking. In fact, this year, uh, Devon, I have confirmed, is on food stamps. Now everybody goes through hard times. You know, it is what it is. But Conovan and Cynthia, his wife, his fiance, wife, whatever the fuck she I is. I thought now, she right? was the breadwinner, though. <clears throat> no, she's on she's on food stamps. And I've confirmed this. And since they live together, he's probably on food stamps, too. Now, I say this because Conovan goes in public here talking about how he's going to buy $100,000 cars that never happen, never show up. All this fucking nonsense. No, they're barely surviving. They're barely scraping by. They've screwed Terrence Pop out of six thousand dollars, a big YouTuber. Who's, they screwed who's other speakers Terrence, to reach who's out that? to me. Terrence. He has like two hundred thousand subscribers. Um, Redonkulous. He goes okay. by on YouTube. Terrence okay. Pop. He's um he's a veteran who does a lot of men's rights kind of satire con okay. comment, uh, content. He's a pretty funny, dude. He spoke at my events years ago too. But Donovan straight up wrote him a bad check that bounced uh, last year, so that ended that fucking. Who's who still writing checks? <laughs> But no, it's look, <laughs> Cynthia, Cynthia is on food stamps. And again, like that is one thing in itself. But these people are in public pretending that they're they're raking in cash. <laughs> That's not the reality. That's not the reality at all. These people are barely surviving. She has a daughter who's 16 who lives at the house. With right. Them. She has I knew that. 50, 50. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I, I mean, it's the, the uh, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to go back and, and look at the look at where because I still ha I have that all saved up. And I think that was the when when <laughs> they were when they were going, there was OK. There was a foreclosure. You're going to want to. OK, there was. A, oh, yeah. She got for She got for she went bankrupt. Yeah, so she when she ago. went for, when she went foreclosed, right? Um, mm -hmm. So that they, I saw that paperwork, but I also saw a marriage license, and then we saw the complete identity of the little girl, and that's when they were saying that that, that she was that was her biological child, and that she was not oh, getting yeah. any she was not getting any um, assistance from the biological father. Yeah, so you're, the, you're talking about the ex-husband. I know that guy. I talk to him on a regular basis. He gave me a lot of the information. That's why I got oh, the divorce documents. Oh, okay. That's how, okay. I got, that's how I got the family photo. And I did blur out the daughter's face and yeah. Mickey Mouse's face. You did, actually. The that was photo. good, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not into doxing kids. That's crazy. Yeah, me neither. Like I know Candace Owens is the into kid. doxing kids, but we're not into doxing kids over yeah. here. I mean, if anything, I I've, I think Cynthia Ashlock, Devon Sharp, uh, Don Conovan's, you know, baby mama, single mama thing going, he's got going on here. I think she's a child abuser. Now, I say that specifically because that daughter who's 16 now, she has been living with her half time, you know, 50 50 back and forth with the dad up in New Jersey or whatever. And for five years, you know, she's seen increasingly over time her, her mom go on this podcast in the house, one room over. Right. Pretending that she's not a mother. I'm not a mother. I'm not a single mom. She's on video saying that. Wait a minute. Times. She's. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It, I, okay, you're she telling me something I didn't not know. not to be a mother. Really? Yes, she's delusional. Yes. 
I've told the father a bunch of times, I'm like, you need to get this in front of a judge. Like, she's pretending that her daughter doesn't exist, that she's not a mother, and this is a fucking lie. The bankruptcy records prove it. She said in the right. penalty of perjury that this is her daughter. Like, of course it's her daughter. You're going bankrupt. You're claiming a dependent. Like, this is what it is. And they still lie to this day. Now, you asked why he still has an audience. There's two reasons. One, all these fucking beta males in the manosphere, and I'd say 90 to 95% of the dudes in the manosphere are just beta males. And that just kind of is what it is. It's like you call it maybe a selection bias or whatever. The manosphere attracts broken beta males raised by single moms or they had a weak father or they were an orphan or who knows, whatever, right? right. Whatever the case is, it attracts these broken, wounded men. And then you have these predators prey on them. And so what that ends up happening is it's this big cycle of guys who are beta and weak. And because of that, they don't want to change. They really don't. Mm. They think they do. They pretend that they want to do. Okay. They want the illusion of changing, the illusion of like this power. And that's what the red pill guys give them. These zingers and all this like hoopla, this Jerry Springer kind of crap on YouTube now, right? Yeah. These hoes ain't loyal. These hoes ain't shit. Gay dudes suck the best dick like Myron says. Myron like, says that. All, that's Myron's words, by the way. <laughs> yeah. This is crazy. This is crazy. But these guys are so broken that they're following each other around in this big blind circle jerk. And it's pathetic to the point that, you know, some of the guys, when I woke them up, Condiments fans, when I gave them the documentary, they woke up and they were like, whoa, fuck this. Anthony, good job. I wish I had come sooner or whatever, but I'm out of the Donovan stuff. This is re retarded. This is insane. But a lot of guys didn't do that, too. It was like 50 50. A lot of guys got mad at me, not for lying to them, which I didn't do but for telling them the truth. They didn't get mad <gasps> really? at Conovan for lying to them. They didn't get mad at him. They still simp for him. He still has some of this same fan base. They're that cucked in the head. They're that retarded. They don't get mad at the guy who lied to them, even when they know he lied to them, even when he has admitted that he lied to them on video on his own show. They get mad at me for telling them the truth because I ruined the illusion. I ruin the illusion that Rolo Tomasi is an alpha male. Al Rolo's a fucking beta bitch. <laughs> Anybody who can read people can tell that Rolo is not alpha. There's nothing alpha about him. The beta, the beta males can't do that. They're socially clueless. And a lot of them, by the way, here's okay. what I, this is more screwed up. So about two years ago, I saw this little channel. It's still around. It's called like Red Pill Lens on YouTube. This It has like a thousand or 1500 subscribers, something like that. And they're doing a live stream and they're bitching about me. And there's there's two guys, like the owner of the channel and his buddy. And they're huge fans of Conovan. No matter what I did, no matter what evidence I had, no matter how many divorce records I have, no matter how many photos I have, admissions and text messages, bankruptcy records, none of that matters, right? What I realized is, as I was watching him, I'm like, this guy looks like he's autistic or something, like he has Asperger's syndrome. And then I'm like, I think he fucking does. And I think he's kind of, and he's not like a high IQ you know, autist out of a movie, like a low IQ kind of one. And I've realized, honestly, I think a lot of Condiments fans at this point are just, they're, they're, they have Asperger syndrome. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. On, so they're on the spectrum. I'm not kidding. Like, yeah. I wish it wasn't the case. But to follow him at this point, out of all the evidence, and a lot of them do know it, they just don't care. And they don't, they don't know how to care. Like, they're that broken. And he preys on these guys, the lowest of the low, the bottom of the barrel. So these Even men were never, these on. men are just, they're just they're just doomed anyway, not because of who they follow, but because yeah. they're just undateable. So we don't have to. We the, the gene pool stops with them. Yeah, I mean, in some cases, it's it's probably a physical thing. Like they just don't they don't have social skills. Yeah, and it's coming from a, a deeper cause, and it's not lack of knowledge about women or how to be a man. Like it doesn't mean they can't get better, and I hope that they do. I don't have anything against these guys, but mm. a lot of them really are are legitimately clinically autistic, and they can't understand it. And they can't see that, like you're saying, you know, you, it's easy to see that Rolo is a fake and a fraud and all that stuff. They don't get it, and mm -hmm. they're never going to get it. They're just going to get burnout. These guys in particular, Rolo's a lot smarter than, uh, Rolo's kind of like a mid-IQ guy. Conovan's more the dummy. Yeah, he But real he dumb. keeps these guys, on, <laughs> he keeps them on like a hamster wheel. <laughs> he keeps these all these beta males on the internet that are protected by the shield and the anonymity of the internet. They don't see in real life how much of a loser Rolo is in Conovan. They're kind of like on a trauma loop where they want the frauds want them to stay broken. They want them coming back. They want them to keep paying on Patreon. They want them to keep super chatting. And I, I don't have a problem with people doing YouTube live streams on the internet or writing books or creating content. I don't have a problem with that. I said it's all fucking fake in the in these cases. The manosphere is a cesspool of frauds and predators who keep these guys stuck like a hamster, like a slave on a wheel. It's right. going around and around and around. They never become more masculine. They never heal. 
They never build families. They never get married. They never date hot women. They don't do anything. They just sit around, you know, in this big, just jerking off all day to frauds on YouTube who lie to them and have, you know, these 50 year old single mom wives pretending to be 40 year old or 39 year old smoke shows, you know, What's the hard the nine end out of goal 10. Like, for these insane. people? The frauds or who? The regular guys? The regular guys. I already know what the end goal yeah, for the frauds. Yeah. The end goal of the frauds is to get paid. Yeah. That's to a cash grab so they can get yeah. get paid as much as possible and then go ahead and live yeah. the life opposite of what they preach. But what's the end yes. goal for their audience? Or do you know? I mean, because, of course, you didn't take a survey. I'm just like guessing. What did, yeah, you, what did you guess? Yeah, we're talking about generalizing like, you know, at this point, hundreds of thousands of men, maybe over a million at this point. Who knows? I mean, some of these channels, these reptile channels have millions of followers. Even Kevin Samuels, may rest in peace, he had over a million. And there's other million plus channels like this kind of content. These guys, I don't think, have a game plan long term. There is no goal. That's why they're stuck on this loop. There, there's no end to it. They just want to keep being red pill and feeling. I think for them, it's all they're uh, honestly, they're very woman like these beta males. Yes. Again, <laughs> all, this to me is an observation. Now you mentioned it with with Rolo though, and the way he's bitchy and gossipy and stuff. I don't I don't mean in that way. I mean it that these guys are obsessed with their emotions. So what does Homo Tomasi do and Condom even Condom and Sharp do? Because he parrots Rolo, right? He makes these guys feel better by telling them what they want to hear. Mm -hmm. So they're obsessed with it. It's not about learning anything. Yeah, or but that's not a female thing. Doing... That's just because can when you that's a con artist thing. The reason why I call him a a a a, a woman. Well, what I mean is. What, Go ahead, go ahead. What I mean is, though, these guys, they love, they're in love with their emotions in a way that's not appropriate for a man because mm -hmm. they're beta males. They're driven by their emotions in a way that's just unmanly and they don't True. understand it. Yes. They, call, they, they bitch at me. Yes. They're like, Anthony, you're so, you're so, this is feminine behavior. It's like, fuck you, bro. Come mm -hmm. say it to my face. Right. None of these motherfuckers have, they're all just beta male goofballs. They're slobs, you know, they're sitting around living with their mama, their little pencil neck twigs. None of them have any balls or do anything. It's it's sick. It's sick what goes on, and they're it's sick too. Not just what they do, but that they're being preyed on, and they don't mm -hmm. even know it, and right. they don't want to hear it. Is the most the most repugnant thing of all. And when you tell them, they get mad at you, not for lying to them, but for telling them the truth. The one thing they claim to want to hear is the red pill truth, and then they fucking hate it. When you tell them that the red pill you know leader is actually a fraud who's been feeding them pure blue pills painted in red for a long time. See, that's emo Sorry to that's you. that no 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 that is the emotions I'm talking about right there where the truth uh cuz I experienced that with so many uh women in my past, you know, women friends and everybody where mm -hmm. you say, "Hey, the guy is no good for you." He's going and they're like, "I don't want to hear it. I love him." So they're they're not logical cuz they're caught up in their feelings of, "Oh, I love well, him. He's a good this." So these guys are doing the same thing and also with Rolo yeah. Rolo is well, those girls those girls don't really love those guys though they love how he makes them feel these guys don't really love these frauds they love how the frauds make them feel it's all about their emotions they're not logical men and this is how men should be men should be you don't have to be a robot that's stupid right but like you need to be very rigorous and logical in your life as a man this is what should come naturally to you it's what makes you more masculine it's what makes you succeed in life but then they just want to be like little girls, little bitchy. They're all like a bunch of little cheerleaders, basically, when, these people. When it comes to Rolo <clears throat> gossip, because I, I never gay men, my gay male <clears throat> friends gossip. But when I see a so-called masculine, and I say so-called, okay, so-called yeah. man who's trying to project himself as masculine, it's such a turnoff and it's such a, it disgusts me. It's like watching, it's like seeing a pile of dung on horse dung on the side of the road. When you see a yeah. so-called masculine man just gossiping, just gossiping. I love Lauren. I love Brittany. And the thing about it is, is that when he started gossiping about them because they got mm -hmm. the best of 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 them of him, I was like, how effeminate. Yep. That is so, it, you're just basically, and he won't shut up. He talked about them last week. And you understand, like, we're, we're talking about months and months and months, and you still won't let it go. And that's something he beat that them. women do. Don't let things go I, for the most part, you know what exactly. I'm saying? And and they exactly yeah he won't let it go he'll never let it go he hates me with the passion too it's been going on years and years and years he pretends he doesn't talk about me he talks to me all the time on his show you know I drop memes on him too and stuff I mean it's kind of an endless thing but I'm just having fun that guy's a straight butter those girls Lauren and Brittany they beat him at his own game 
They That's did. the best part about it. They did. And he'll never sue them. All the, he was tweeting about suing them. He has them. nothing to nonsense. sue. He, he has no case. What is he going to sue That's them right. on? They could, they, could, they could sue him. With, if they had some crack shot attorney and a bunch of money, oh, to burn, yeah. they could definitely oh, sue him. Oh, yeah. They, they can. They can. But, his, um, but yeah. he, he probably knows that, but his fans are so dumb and they're so hoodwinked and they're so codependent emotionally on him that when he says, I'm going to sue somebody, they just believe it. Conovan has been saying he's going to sue me for years. And he never does. I filed a lawsuit. I almost involved him in it. We almost sued him. You know who we sued? Because I had a he had a ND uh, he had an NDA with me for years. Conovan. I sued two of his speakers. I sued them for real. And his he was named in the lawsuit. And he was named his company. Oh, or his, I didn't uh, his know this. Named in the lawsuit. Yes, we settled the lawsuit last year out of court. In oh, private. really? And so, yeah, so all these motherfucking YouTubers, you talk all this shit. I'm going to sue this guy. I'm going to sue that guy. You know who actually sued somebody? Me. They don't do shit. They don't do nothing but talk and talk and fucking talk like little cheerleaders. Maybe that's why I Rolo is a little careful in what he says about you. Because uh, yes. I, I don't I don't watch his stuff, but I know the little times he did say he was very vague. You know what I'm saying? And now <laughs> that makes sense why he was so well, vague. Well, he scared of me. He's a bitch. He's a bitch too. He's scared of me, and he should be. I'm not gonna like hurt him or nothing, but like right, in right, his head, right. he probably thinks that. In in his, in Rolo's head, I'm like John Wick. He's made me like the John Wick of the manosphere in his head. I'm like, he thinks I pay off YouTubers like fat like twenty thousand dollars to do hit pieces on him. He says this openly. Go look, I've been preached. He thinks I paid I've been preached thousands of dollars. He believes this to the to the bone. They make fun of him, and he doubles down. They're like, bro, he didn't pay us nothing. I don't even, I've almost never talked how, to them in my how life. How ignorant even, and your arrogance them. to think that Alvin Preach can't come up with their own uh, with their own ideas and that you have to pull the strings yeah. to make them do a hit piece on Rollo. He's a law cow. No, they, the cited, they, cited, they cited my channel, but they did that publicly. Hey, we found these videos on his channel. We found them interesting, you know, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I never paid them shit. Right. You know? If they yeah. want to, they want to pay me for my videos. Go ahead, bro. Pay me a couple of G's. <laughs> I didn't pay you ten, twenty grand. But this is the kind of cuckoo. Rolo is a paranoid schizophrenic with a messiah complex. He thinks of himself as like a red pill Jesus, or kind of he's like a red pill Jesus slash red pill like Santa Claus because he does free videos on YouTube like everyone else. I don't know. It makes no fucking sense anymore. Is, but are people totally are nuts. the men in in the red pill and the menosphere? Are they taking Rolo seriously because of him writing a book? Uh, or books. I mean, he's written a couple couple books. He actually thanked me in his third book, uh, The Positive Masculine. Really? I mentioned my name in that book. Big thanks to Anthony Johnson forever. I'm thanked in that book. You lie. He did not say forever, yeah. did he? <laughs> no, he didn't say forever. Oh, okay. But, he, but I'm in there. I'm saying it ain't never leaving the book. It ain't never leaving. It's forever. This isn't this isn't like a Kindle. This is the print book. It ain't never leaving. Yeah. Well. Wow! I think so you you three, you really was close with him for him to thank you, uh, thank for him to thank. He was sitting right here. He was, yeah, he was sitting right here in my house many times years ago. I mean, we used to go fishing, like all kinds of shit. Uh, I know all these guys. I've been what, shooting with Rich Cooper. What, we've been, we've been shark wrong? fishing, like. What went wrong is that Rolo was planning a coup on my company and trying <gasps> to destroy my life, my life's work. That's what went wrong. I didn't know. And I figured nowhere? it out long before. No, not out of nowhere. He planned this for years. He was basically trying to take control of my events and by selecting all the speakers and using me as a puppet the same way he's tried he's tried to use conovan as a puppet too he wants conovan to do these little shithole events he does or whatever and he, rollo wants to be kind of the puppet master who kind of plays all this stuff he's a pussy and he's he's very passive in real life rollo he has no balls like zero balls zero masculinity he actually hates masculinity he hates men that's what i wish his fans the few that he has left or whatever understood about him more he's codependent little beta males yeah. He hates masculinity and he hates men. He hates family. He resents fatherhood. I don't know if I don't know if he hates his own family, probably his wife at this point. Well, I, his but, his daughter obviously yeah. listens to the mother. I I don't see her when I when I went and looked at her social well, media. You know, she doesn't really you know, acknowledge Rolo knocked her. His, yeah, Rolo knocked his wife up. I mean, that whole family is an accident. That's what he doesn't tell people. Yeah, but if but you actually look, you would I asked him in real life one time. Yeah, you. But you would think that even though he knocked her out, he, he knocked her up by accident, or whatever. The 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 young lady is absolutely gorgeous. She's beautiful, and I would think that Rolo would be proud to have a a 
an intelligent, beautiful daughter, and he would kind of like be a prominent figure in her life, but he's not. Yeah, that makes sense. I haven't stayed that much in touch with all that stuff, but I don't. I don't think he hates his own his own. Yeah, kid. he like, doesn't hate her, but he's not. A, he's not a positive influence yeah. in her life at all. She, I, I I read her stuff like she doesn't mention her father at all. It look, it's, and then again, if I want to be yeah. honest, maybe she is ashamed that if they were to, because <laughs> of course you know maybe she is ashamed of her father, even though. She, yeah. We know Rolo Tomasi's real name is not Rolo Tomasi. We know that if she was to use his name, which oh, it, it's you know his real name, his yeah. real name is George yeah, William we, Miller. Thanks to Brittany, George W. Yeah, Brittany is George a reason w. who I know that she, my girl sit up there and made sure we knew his real name. So thanks to yeah. thanks to my girl Brittany, his real name is now attached to his. Uh, persona uh, Rolo Tomasi so he can't escape oh, I, did that. The... I did that years ago did, did you really ago oh you're the reason why that happened yeah. oh yeah. well okay. that, that was the whole fight we had a big fight in 20 so Rolo's credibility has been I think falling apart I think he because he's a gamma male he has a really uh, kind of like a really toxic woman who's like BPD kind of like really violent or whatever uh -huh. Uh -huh. women like that self de self destruct over time uh -huh. and since Homo Tomasi is so effeminate He's also very self-destructive. He's been destroying his own relationships, his own credibility, his own, his own reputation. Like, what was so bad about the Britney and Lauren thing, right? Where they they owned him on his own little game, right? They ran right. circles around him. Right. It wasn't just what they did. It's how he responded to it so right. poorly. Right. He, could, he couldn't just take it like, oh, they got me. They Fuck, got I me. Up. I take that L. Whatever. Mm -mm. No. But he couldn't do that because he's right. a fucking egomaniac, you know, and has a God complex. Like, he just can't handle it. He has to just bitch and moan for the next five months. I was going to sue them. He'll never do anything. That's all like, that's all he's look for beta males. Life is a masturbatory, masturbatory experience. And for gamma males, it's like a super masturbatory experience. Rolo's whole life is this one big game of mental masturbation on the internet, mm. basically. And so these girls, yeah, they ran circles around him. He couldn't handle it. And it's pathetic. And it, it just drives him. It's destroying this whole life, basically. And I think since 2019, when me, me and him had our big falling out, it's been kind of a downhill slope ever since then. And the Britney and Lauren thing is just the latest rendition of that. Oh, and it gets God, worse so and good. worse. And Valuetainment, I don't want to do with him no more. A lot of other people don't want anything to really? do with Rolo anymore. Okay, hold on, hold on. So now you're teaching me stuff I don't know. What happened with Valuetainment? Yeah. I'm not super familiar with it, but the guy and Rolo got in a fight over money. I think yeah, Rolo is the biggest... Rolo is the biggest money grubbing, you know, guy I've ever I seen. I know in my life. they pay I've, some people, but I but they don't pay everybody. Did he think he deserved more than what they paid him? I'm and surprised. he publicly said that they should have paid him more more travel expenses, more this, more that. And they were like, Hey bro, no. And he went after them publicly for it though. No, really? This, yeah. Because he's a fucking bitch. Well, I'm blocked. I mean, he blocked he me. He blocked me uh, when I kept rubbing in his face that you ain't got no case. And yeah. every t every time he posted <laughs> a, a rebuttal about how he got Britney and Lauren, I would basically say, no, you set up here and pretended that you had her nudes. OK, you also pretended mm -hmm. to basically give uh, her husband uh, 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 um, uh, marital advice. And you also try to, you know, do, you know, try to say that, oh, I got the ultrasound report as if you had leverage over these women. And it comes to find out that they yeah. were basically trolling you the whole time. You don't have a case. You can't be the victim here. You're the villain. And so he finally blocked me because I kept every time he would post tweet something about how he was in the he was the victim. I would basically post his exact words and he eventually blocked me. So that's what happened. Yeah. Welcome to the club. He blocked me years ago. He actually he actually blocked me, and then he was bitching like a month later that I blocked him on his little show. No I'm way. Like, you, you you blocked me first. You blocked me first. Yeah, man. I block him back. No, if yeah. you block me, I'm gonna block you back. You know, say I'm not. You're not gonna be the one that get to yeah. see my tweets, and I can't see yours. So you know, there's snooping, that. snooping. Right. Yeah, 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 snooping. So yeah, these all these guys are all fraud. It's so sick. Like the issues that met. Young men today really do need help, and they need guidance, and they need mentors. Yeah, and they're they're not getting that on the internet. Nine times out of ten, or ninety nine times out of a hundred, maybe they're getting someone who is posturing and is a fraud and is pretending to be something that they're not at a level that you wouldn't believe. And then every once in a while, with Conovan, for example, the divorce records come out, right? The bankruptcy records come out, 
Oh, his wife is seven years older than he pretended to be. Yeah. Oh, she had that's not her niece. That's her daughter. You know, oh, well, Rolo, Rolo is going to make fun of retired club sluts over 30, right? What did he do? He met a club slut over 30 and he married her and knocked her up. Like, this is the whole fucking internet, especially the Manosphere. It's a high conflict, high drama, circle jerk of masturbating oh, oh, baby. And Richard Cooper and married, was preach about not marrying baby he's can- mamas, but he. He's Canada's. Canada's number one single mom expert is Richard Cooper. <laughs> so it's like, wait Straight a minute. Up. You did okay, am, am I am I making this up or did I see this wrong? Did he not marry and divorce two single baby mamas? Uh at least one. I'm not sure about two, maybe. Okay. okay. But I do know that once he got divorced last time, really bad. And what people don't know is that he his company is debt consolidation company. He used to run before YouTube. That got sued for an insane amount of money, almost into bankruptcy. That's why he abandoned it to his brother, because it didn't make any money anymore. He was still paying payments on it many years later when he was at my house here in Orlando. It got sued for like over $100 million or something crazy. He lost everything because he was committing like some sort of like civil fraud or something like that. It was ridiculous. Whoa! I don't have all the details on that, but this is what he told me into my face. But then anyway, for, let's go focus on the single mom stuff. I got, I got a lot of dirt on that guy too. So Richard Pooper married a single mom, got divorced by a single mom. You know, he's bitching about it, crying about it forever now. But also a year after his divorce, he found Rolo's book, the, you know, the, the homo mail or whatever it is. And then he immediately, within a few months, starts charging on the Internet, on his YouTube channel, you know, uh, homosexuals and cars or whatever it is. He starts giving guys advice, charging guys for advice for a thousand dollars an hour. And you know what he did? You know what he was doing? He was reading out of the fucking book. No. Fucking book. I know this because he did it in my face. He did it in front of me at my house. He had to borrow that fucking copy of the fucking book behind me, the rational mail. He had to fucking on the phone with this fucking client in front of me. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Like this dude's paying you at this point. It was $1,500 an hour. He was charging. Oh, I'm like, do you know how much he coaching. raised it up to now? Four thousand dollars. Yeah, it's a complete fraud. It's complete four thousand. He raised it to is... four thousand dollars. Yeah, and you know what he's doing? He's preying on guys who look up to him on the internet. That's what he's doing. Guys who somehow have that kind of money, but are so emotionally wounded and codependent and lonely that they pay him that much money. It's sick. I hope that guy goes to jail and rots. Fuck rich pooper. Yeah, he is a piece of shit. So, do you think that's yep. the reason why? Okay, so. Because these guys are in a in a club, of course, Rolo is like he's like Myron, who's a homosexual, by the way. Myron Gaines is gay. He's not straight. And I'm just I don't know why yep. people are taking advice on from somebody who's trying to basically turn you out. But the fact that Myron keeps swinging from Rolo's nuts, do you think that's the reason why they have this in group? A club where they like you can invite this 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 person but don't invite this 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 person oh yeah talking about the Rolo men, is you know Rolo uh, homo Rollery Tomasi is the fraud father of it all he's the ringleader of it he's at he's at the top of the totem pole this whole little fraud mafia he's ex- this, this is why I mean him got in a fight he was trying to come into my convention my event my business that I run for 10 years a decade by the time he showed up and take it over functionally in Gosh. every in every meaningful sense of the term to pick and choose who could speak and who couldn't. He's like, kick this guy out, kick out Tanner Guzzi, kick out AJ Cortez, all these different speakers, bring this guy in, bring this guy in. You need this guy. He would push guys on me for like months at a time, six months. We're talking like every day, every other day, texting me to my phone. You need this guy. You need this guy. This guy was a fucking control freak. Wow. And then in the end, when he realized, when he realized he couldn't control me, that's when he decided he wanted to destroy me. It was either control what I do or destroy it and then uh, replace it with so something else. So that's his MO, Anthony. So, Because I kind of see Money. it with uh, – hold on. I'm a, I, I kind of see him doing that with Fresh and Fit because mm-hmm. when Destiny and Sneeko debated him on Fresh and Fit, and it was such an embarrassing uh, showings, right? I saw. I saw. They yeah. were – Rolo had a lot of conditions uh, that, he, that he made – uh, well, I wouldn't say May. He ordered his, you know, his little slave Myron to enforce yep. before he agreed to come down in in Miami and do the the debate. So that yeah. makes sense. Rollo's Rollo's your very Rollo's your very typical insecure narcissistic control freak. A pathological personality would be the way he would put it. I think. Yeah. 
But yeah, totally. He has to control everything because he's going to get murdered by people in debates. There's actually a debate between him and a clinical psychologist, a good friend of mine, Dr. Sean T. Smith. You can check it out on Rich Pooper's channel. It's from a couple years ago. And this guy is just steamrolls Rolo in an hour long, hour and a half long debate. And at the end, you can see Rolo's is completely flustered and angry. I mean, he's losing his shit because he couldn't control. He couldn't control this guy. Right. And this guy is a real psychologist for like 20 years now. He's not putting up with this stuff. He has a real PhD. He's a well-meaning dude. He's a good author. He's a great speaker. He knows he knew Rolo in real life. He met him at my events. So that yeah, it just drives him nuts. And this actually, they debated on Rich Cooper's channel, Rich Cooper. And right after that, you never saw Sean Smith on that channel again. Because he used to be on there on this big channel oh. every week. He did before, before the train wreck. You know what happened? Rolla said to Rich Cooper, it's either him or me. Get him off your channel. So he takes the much stupidity of, of being a godfather seriously, huh? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's not a game to him. That's real. That's as real That's as real as, as the computer sitting in front of you right now to him. He is the godfather. Yeah, he's, a, he's the not god even just the godfather. The god no, no, no. He's not even... He's not even, he doesn't even need the father part. He's just God. He sees himself <laughs> as a God. He sees himself as a savior. Listen to his channel. What does he say? I'm saving lives. I'm saving men. I'm saving this. I'm saving yeah, the world. Yeah, he, he did say what that. What is he doing? Yeah. He's he just did. mentally masturbating in his little shitty fucking office he has in the middle of fucking nowhere in Nevada. He, and he will hate you mills. if you beat him in a, 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 a debate because that's his, that was yeah. his problem with Lauren Southern. He, he basically debated her. Mm -hmm. On her, on his own yeah. book, and she destroyed him, and he had an axe yeah. to grind against her ever since. So he doesn't like yeah. losing debates, but I'm like, if he doesn't yeah. like losing debates, then why did he keep uh, engaging in them? Well, he brags. He's bragged for years. He'll debate anybody. It's open debate, open debate. The red pill is open debate, open source. No, it's all nonsense. He's. It's just. Uh, it's like this inverse kind of reflection he does or some sort of some sort of reverse psychology. He'll tell his fans one thing and just gaslight them and do the exact opposite. I'm all for open debate. Open debate is so important. Free speech is so important. We got to have an open source red pill. Everybody's got to contribute. And then what does he do? The exact opposite. No debates, control the debates, no debates, kick that person off, fuck that guy. Everything's closed source. I'm the red pill. Everyone who doesn't agree with me is blue pill or purple pill immediately. That's his fucking MO. He tells them one thing and they're so stupid that they believe it. They just believe it. They're just lazy, mm. I guess, intellectually lazy, emotionally codependent, whatever it is. They're broken. He hunts on the most broken dudes you can find. The only guy who preys on even more broken dudes than Rolo is Conovan. That's it. He gets like, like if there's like a big bukkake of these beta males, Rolo is like in the middle and the top of it kind of all over. And Conovan's at the bottom of this beta male bukkake getting the, the leftovers the guys who are the lowest iq the dumbest of the dumb the most naive and the most broken the guys who are literally autistic who it's it's really sad they're getting preyed on the internet but this is just the reality of the world we live in i have a the question internet is really cool but it enables all this fraud go ahead so i never heard about so you mentioned rollo you mentioned of course we already know about rollo uh donovan and richard cooper mm -hmm. The person I never knew existed until uh, now, actually, and then somebody had to remind me, no, uh, MD, you know, Mechtile Dictionary talked about him, but I don't remember is MLD. I didn't even know MLD existed <laughs> until oh, until man. he got embarrassed on Valuetainment. So when so, so I was talking because it was it was me and another uh, another uh, 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 female who, like I said, we still we just be lurkers uh, of uh, of uh, MD's uh, uh, Google Hangout. We just loved it so much. But she was like, "Tree, you remember that they put him on blast too." About about oh, all, all the, and I was like, "So so can you update not, me he on was this?" Advocating yeah, he the thing on Valuetainment, it came from actually a different podcast, whatever, I think. And then he went on Valuetainment for something else. But on the whatever podcast, he was advocating oh, yes, that women indoor. who are getting... Yes, are, yes. Mr. Indoor. indoor. Right. Okay. Thank you. are absolutely right, they're Anthony. Getting phys, <laughs> they're getting physically beaten, they should right. stay in relationships. Yeah, and endure they it. Even the, the, girl, the girl asking him, even clarify it. She's like, no, no, no. If they're actually getting physically assaulted and beaten, he's like, yeah, they got to endure. Right. It's like... And then when she and said, so, so what me, if so what if a woman cheats on you? Oh, yeah, we got a divorce. We got a divorce. I said that, that hypocrisy is yeah. the reason why no one takes them seriously. I honestly I'm the son of a violent alcoholic. I grew up around a lot of domestic violence more than you can. Most people can imagine mm -hmm. unless you grew up in a ghetto or a drug den. Like I was around a lot of really violent shit. 
And so when I see men who claim to be leaders of men and dating coaches and all this bullshit advocating that women stick around in relationships where they're literally physically getting the shit kicked out of them, this is sickening to me. Yes. This is beyond sick. Yeah. Nobody, man or woman, should stay in a relationship. Straight, gay, bi, pans, I don't give a fuck what you are. Get out. Absolutely. You do not belong in a relationship where you're getting beaten. Right. And it's it, it it harks to me that he is so he's never had like a real relationship with a woman. He was raised by a single mom, a fat single mom in Orlando. She lives about 10 minutes from me up the road, right here where I'm sitting right now. His fat, his fat effing mom. <laughs> She raised this little, this little bastard son, this little brat, this little brat who is so clueless on the world that he will go on a podcast in front of thousands of people and tell women to stay in relationships where they're getting beaten. Like, and like, this is totally normal and totally legit. And, and that's what they got to do. Like, that's just the rational thing to do. It's fucking, it's beyond stupid. And it's part of him trying to make outrage bait to make people upset. But like, He's so, he's like, again, like a Buffalo Bill when it comes to social skills. Yeah. He has yeah. those social skills. He's actually a child stalker. So I want to make it clear. Oh! His real name is Jonathan Hogwood. Yes, because she Jonathan showed me. Hogwood. She showed me when she was trying to show me the stuff that MD put up there. She was like, remember he kept taking pictures with little children uh, in front of him with, in front of him with other parents. And I said, I must have, didn't, I didn't come to that. I must have missed that. Uh, that uh, Google Hangout that MD did, but she took screenshots because she she does not like yeah. predators of children. You know, what I'm saying yeah, he's a child predator. He's yeah, a, he's yeah, a child yeah, predator too. Yeah. I've shown them, I've shown those pictures. I have those pictures. I've shown them to law enforcement and in Orlando, guys I know, and they're 100 percent convinced that if he's not already a pedophile, this is absolutely alarming and definitely right. on the road to becoming right. a pedophile. Yes, like yes. You don't so. I mentioned the Buffalo Bill social skills kind of analogy. Mm. MLD is the worst of the worst. He's actually worse than Conovan. He's worse than Rolo. Is He's he worse really? Than all these guys. He is so toxic that if, if you notice Richard Pooper and Homo Tomasi stopped hanging out together online yes. a while ago, like a year ago or whatever. Yeah. You know why that was? No. MLD. Richard Cooper got fed up with it. Like, from what I understand, he's like, Rolo, you have to get rid of this fucking guy. He stalks children. He's a fucking weirdo. All this bullshit. And Rolo refused because Rolo's retarded. So what happened? Rich Cooper said, I'm out. I'm done. Credit, credit to Rich Cooper. Yeah, He's credit a fraud for and, that. And Jeez. It, 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 MLD is so toxic that other frauds don't want to be around him. That's how much of a fraud he is. <laughs> He's thought, and now I want to be clear. There's an interview on my channel where I interviewed M MD that you're talking about, the MGTOW Dictionary guy. And we reviewed these photos that he brought onto the stream that he gave that he gave to me. And they're from MLD. And MLD is so, defended So these, this actually, is on your channel? Yeah, it's unlisted right now. Oh, okay, okay, never mind. I mean, MD are kind of fighting, but um, I can give you the link and people can watch it. Okay, you can put it. You can put it in the video if you want. Yeah, I'm not. So it's not private. I'm trying to hide it. I just MD pissed me off, so I took it off for a while. Okay, okay. But MLD is such a child stalking fraud that, by the way, he's actually challenged me to a fight. Uh, MLD. No uh, modern way, music. MLD, um, John, the little the little man yeah. who had liposuction, who had plastic twice. <laughs> Lip lipos Wait, liposuction twice, twice. and. He, and he's still fat, and he's still ah! fat. Liposuction ah! twice, and he does steroids. Ah! And he's still fucking fat. He's still fat. He's a fat pig. I call him Jonathan Pigwood. He's a pig, man. Or Wait Pito a minute. Wood, really. Wait a Pito minute. Wood. Did, do he, does he know how to take yeah. a diet? I mean, if you're going to get liposuction, you're supposed to do a diet to make no. sure you don't gain it back. The best, the best thing is he sells men fitness advice. And how to get <laughs> you lying. <laughs> I ain't lying. Go to his channel. Go to his channel. It's like money, <laughs> muscles, game. It's all fake. It's all fake. It's all fraud. I got there. But you know who actually exposed him on the liposuction the first time? I know you don't like him. Tristan Tristan Tate. Yeah, I don't like him. him. But if he, how, wait, wait, wait. How did they Tristan... Out, they lost his account. How did Tristan know about MLD, though? So MLD had been trying to get Andrew and Tristan on his channel to for an interview for a long time. This okay. was like late late 2019, early early 2020, right around the time COVID hit. Okay. And Andrew and Tristan have access to a lot of information in the manosphere. They're always being fed information. And they got fed these videos of MLD in a diaper, in a diaper getting liposuction. This is this is yeah, before the more recent liposuction. Did. <laughs> yeah, and they're they're hilarious. So Tristan dumped him on Twitter and it went viral. It got, you know, th I don't know, 300,000 views or something like that big. Wow. And then very quickly, though, they they deleted. But this is old Twitter. They deleted Tristan's account at the time.
Wait a minute. Which is the reason I, thought, I think I, Tristan dropped I, it. I, 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 mis, I misunderstood. I thought Tristan dropped the pictures on MLD and MLD account got deleted, but it was Tristan's mm -hmm. uh, Tristan. account that got deleted because of time, that? His, yeah, they, they could, Twitter considered it private information or oh, some nonsense. Oh, okay, okay. Because it was clearly a video from a doctor's office and, you know, it wasn't him. It, Tristan wasn't posting a video of himself. It was of someone else. He didn't, he didn't have permission. Whatever. It's stupid. That's nonsense. It, that would not even happen today probably, but that's dumb because that's newsworthy information. Yeah. MLD yeah. holds himself out to be a, a public figure and a public YouTuber and a right. coach and a podcaster. True. They, this, this is the thing all these frauds want. They all want to be famous. They all want all the smoke, right? Until it gets too hot in the kitchen. Then they don't want it, right? They want all the benefits of being, they want to be public and say whatever they want. Women can get the shit kicked out of them. Let me take pictures of little kids at fucking Disney. Oh, oh that's God, totally that fine. So You're not a fucking sick fuck, right? Yeah. But the minute you expose them, the minute you come after them, the minute you criticize them, they bitch out and they run away. I've, I've made fun of guys who are getting married to like these turbo sluts, I call them. John Samez from Bullfag Mindset is a good example. He has oh, about hold on, hold on, hold on. Help, you know help me out. Help me out. Hold on a second. Is yeah. this the guy uh, who came on the Google Hangouts with his girlfriend and yep. she yep. embarrassed him? Is, is that the same girl? Yep. Is this a different girl? That's the same. <laughs> that's the same girl. That's the same girl who ran a podcast called Date Me or yes, Hate Me, yes, where yes. she bragged about banging all these dudes. <laughs> The religious guy, He's the professional baseball her. player, the <laughs> soccer player, all this bullshit. She's a slut. Oh I call it Tampa, Tampa Tender Dude, Turbo Thought, Turbo this, Slut. This, yeah, exactly. Out of everything you told me today, that yeah. in itself is blowing my mind. Because oh, wait, I, hang on. MLD, MLD challenged me to a fight twice on his channel. I never responded. I definitely want to accept that at this point. I'm going to fight you if you, if you want. You want to come to Atlanta and get your ass beat. You're welcome to do that. But we got to fight on your mother's front lawn so she can watch her little baby son bleed out <laughs> on the driveway. <laughs> you know he's not going to come over here and get a sanctioned fight, okay? He's he's still with yeah, – what is he was. at? In Japan? I don't even know. Who cares? But if huh. he wants to come here and fuck around and huh. find out, I, I got to get that. back on. I got to get on bull, uh, uh, um, uh, bulldog mindset. Bullfag. Oh, that woman. Oh, I wish those videos were not. I wish I've those met her. I've I met wish her. those videos were her. not deleted because his manhood, that was the most pathetic thing I have seen. Uh, uh, a wow. Now, I'm against women dehumanizing, embarrassing, belittling emasculating. women. Yeah, emasculating. emasculating. Yeah, yeah. The, what yeah. And he just sat there. And just allowed it. And so I remember MD said, yo, man, you going to let your woman talk to you like that? She's her own woman. She can say. <laughs> and I was like. <laughs> they're, they're all like that, though. They're all like that. I met her in real. He brought her. He met her off Tinder back in 2020. Yeah, I know. I know. I, I know. The he whole brought her to story. the event. And I'm like, I'm thinking like, yo, this is some random Tinder slut you brought to the event you're speaking at. And oh, like, no. It's a, little, it's a little unprofessional, but whatever, you know. <sighs> But uh, I mean, yeah. Now they get it. she's in a divorce rape him, so I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna get. I got my popcorn ready. I'm gonna have a fun time. Yeah, so I his saw the picture. I saw the picture of him uh, proposing to her, yeah. and I. I yeah, but I didn't put two and two together. I didn't. I. I was like, um, yeah. well, that's that's not her. It must be a new so woman. So he got. He got so butthurt when I, I wrote a post. I'll send you. I wrote. It's a long post. It's like an essay. Just just making fun of him. Making fun of him, but also it's like you need to wake up. This girl's gonna take you to the cleaners, man. And letter, nobody had the letter. balls to tell him. I think these yeah. men are masochists, and I think that's what they enjoy. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So let yeah. them let them yeah, suffer. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what they get into. I'm sorry. Go ahead. That's what I found. Is that that's what I found is that beta males don't learn, not even the hard way. Mm -mm. And John Samez, John, he will not learn. He will not. He'll get divorce raped. Everybody told him, including me, especially me, publicly, quite brazenly, and he won't listen. He's gonna get screwed. He's gonna lose a lot of money. He's gonna be, you know, crying. He's and he whipped, be though. Of, Did you see how? Exactly. I mean, they're, it, it, they're all they're all pussy whipped. They're all pussy whipped. Every one of these motherfuckers. The way he sat there yeah. and just let her de let her dehumanize and masculine him was just even shocking for me to look at. These guys that talk to you about masculinity and having a spine and being red pill, they're all pussy whipped. They have spines made out of fucking jello. 
They're all losers. They're all beta males. They're all frauds. You have no idea how bad it is. I've worked in this industry for 17, almost 18 years, and it is disgusting. Like, it is so fucking bad. It's just gotten worse over time, too. 10 years ago, it was not nearly this bad. It was kind of bad, but not this bad. The past five years, as it's, as it's, it's blown it's up and It's absolutely awful. And, and I think, I, and, yeah, and you like, know what? Radioactive. What's happening? I'm going to tell you what's happening now. What's, it's getting, it's having the adverse re reaction. Instead of, now, they are not only alienating a lot of men, because I, I definitely teach my women, you know, who watch me, stay away from these these punks, you know, saying, keep your legs closed, don't even deal with them. They'll, it's like kryptonite to them. They'll go away. But here's the deal. The thing about it is, is that they are legit turning decent women feminists. These women are like, these men are talking, they're so evil, especially, you know, one woman, she actually did go on the feminist side when she saw uh, Charleston White come on the Fresh and Fit podcast and literally say that, uh, that they used to grape white women without permission. They'll say, yo, you, we're going to, we're yeah, going to go. Yeah. <clears throat> so... She and and then of course no, that, what was Myron point. and that's them saying good. was like choo choo yeah <laughs> we gonna have to get off of YouTube yeah. on this one so instead of them they want to sit up here and tell women that that grape <clears throat> grape culture don't exist but here they have a man that's actually bragging about graping literally graping white women okay and then yep. they sit up here and condone yep. it so of course that's gonna turn a lot of women off and they're like no if these women, if these men are gonna act like this let me let me join feminism. Yeah, they're fools. This is a good point. I mean, that, that the same thing is true with uh, MLD when he went on that show. Right. You know, was some a few some months ago, maybe five, six months ago. Endor getting beaten. This is right. sick. I don't support that. Right. The best guys in the manosphere would never support that. But they become, you know, far and few between. Some of them are dead. My good friend, Alan Roger Curry, was a really good man, good father and a good husband at the end of his life. And he died, unfortunately, not that long ago. He's not he's but not most, black, so, is he? Or is he? I, he I mean, he was black. Yeah. He died? Wait a minute. Didn't he just he get dead. married two years ago? Or no, no, four years ago? A couple years ago, Anthony, yeah. He, had a son he too. died? He had a son. Wait a minute. No, he yeah. was a good guy. Wait, what did he die from? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if they revealed it publicly, so I'm not actually sure, but he just died. It might have been the vaccine stuff. I'm not sure, to be honest. Oh, I was talking my to his brother, gosh. actually. I, I, didn't, I am really shocked to hear I that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no bad the, words December... to say about, about him. Actually, yeah, because he because he was a true godfather of the manosphere. He really was, and he had his own thing and his own kind of mode one. Everything that he did, yes, and he cared. Him, it, was, yeah. it was fun for him and interesting. Yeah, all the guys like him have become more and more rare over time. Either because they die, they get old, they retire, they switch careers. Who knows? Like things happen. And at the end of the day, it's just, it's just become this polluted nightmare. It's like a, the manosphere has become like a dumpster fire, like a radioactive dumpster fire at this point. I mean, you're talking about fresh and fit. I think Amru is still a fed. He's a federal. He was a federal agent for Homeland Security. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Uh, you think he's still doing it Miami. just to just to cause uh, just to cause uh, the division? Yeah. To, well, make, to, 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 just, to remove to remove the credibility, whatever credibility, whatever little credibility the Manosphere had, he made it even fucking worse. He made it into a clown show and a cartoon show, a Jerry Springer show, where then you bring on literal grapists, right? As you, right. As you call them. Right. Talk, advocating it, talking about it, right. laughing about right. it. Right. Right. What does that do? It makes the Manosphere look like fucking dog shit. Yeah. Duh. And this this is like the 10th time this is this kind of shit's happened. It gets worse and worse. Yeah. So I think he's like a bad actor and like a spoiler almost. To like I, just, I, I just agree with that. Kind of control it and ruin it. And yeah, once you're a Fed, you're always a Fed. You don't just retire True. from being a federal agent at like 33 years. <laughs> who the fuck does that? How many 33-year-olds do you know who retired from being a federal agent for seven years? This is I don't happened. know, Eddie. This is nonsense. Especially the ones called Amaru Fidel, okay? <laughs> yeah. I call him Amru Amru Fraudle. Amru Fraudle, I call him. <laughs> now, he's definitely a Fed. He's definitely a Fed. I I don't know if he's still on their payroll. I don't know exactly. Who knows? It the wouldn't be surprised. No it doubt. wouldn't be. It wouldn't surprise me if the if the federal government said, "Here is the startup money. Keep this. We're gonna buy this, buy that, and he won't put this in the amount of your uh, account. And this is what we want you to do for the next five to seven years. And then come back and check with us to yeah. see how things are going. And then we will probably like 
we we uh repay you or something we'll probably give you yeah. something else you know what I'm saying so what what's amazing to me is that these guys who want to be red pill and know the truth and you know go against the establishment they're the first ones to simp for what a federal fucking agent. right right and they're so naive they are so naive and so gullible they don't even think twice like hmm you know it, in 2021, he had only been not a federal agent officially for like a year, year and a half at that point. Not yeah, even. it's yeah. like you, you, you just believe anything that you're told. I'm not a federal agent anymore. I'm a, just an upstanding citizen who wants to run a red pill podcast and talk about race yeah, and shit on my show. And it's like, for it. how it's like, do you like all, you're all into women? I'm with you on that one, Anthony. Yeah. Now that I think about it, because well, no, like, he's gay too. Then he's gay and talking. Right, you're, that. I mean, so you're not sorry. You're not. In, you're you're not into men. You 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 have a boyfriend. The the picture I kept showing of him in college that was uh of his boyfriend. They and by the way, that guy is openly Whoa. gay now. Okay, so it's not like a oh. uh, 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 it's not like a, a ticket a, a, a hidden secret. So now you go from. Yeah. You graduate, you know what I'm saying, and now you you and your boyfriend break up. And so now all of a sudden you decide to get into the red pill movement to help men date better or whatever. Like, yeah, this is this this too it's too many coincidences on that one. So this is this is another problem I have with all these goofballs, is that none of them have like none of them have women that love them in public or even in private. No. It doesn't exist. No. Name name one girlfriend Amru Frottle who Myron Ga Gaines has ever had in his life. Name one girl who's ever showed him genuine and, and affection. There's a beard that he's walking around and everybody like, well, that's, I, her name is Angie. I'm like, they never kiss. They never, they never hug up. Yeah. Okay, there's a video and you can see it as bright as, as bright as day. There's a video of Sneeko and him and her are together. He's sitting on the couch ignoring her and she's all hugged up on him while he's playing on his phone he shows no affection uh, towards her whatsoever even a little crusty one where he had the uh the girl that he got off of a dating app that she was basically using him even he was you know was affectionate towards her when it was yeah. clear when it was clear the girl was using him right but at least he yeah. you can tell he's you could tell uh fresh ceo is straight because he was like hugged up on her yeah. you know rubbing her affectionately i said see he's straight Myron is gay. Myron is repulsed by dad going to women. Yeah. You can tell the difference between the two. But you get that. But all these beta males that have had sex with one or two girls their entire life or zero or zero and have they've, bar <laughs> they've barely ever talked to girls. They've never been to a bar and talked to a bunch of women in the middle of the night. They don't they have no social skills. They can't they don't they don't understand these things that you're seeing and they can't. They don't either because they're autistic. They have Asperger's syndrome. They have zero social experience. They have zero social skills. They've had barely any sexual experience, if mm, not literally mm, zero. Mm. They don't see these things. I know exactly. I know exactly what you're talking about. You're looking at Myron on the video. There's this girl. These these behaviors are weird for people yeah. who claim to be in a relationship. Like what the fuck? But these guys are so fucking clueless and so goofy. They don't see it, and they get mad at anyone who wants to tell them the truth. They're like, dude, you don't know anything. You don't know anything. And the guy pretending to tell you something is either gay, bisexual. Or in all cases, including Fresh, the little fat one, are terrible with women. They are terrible. <laughs> they are not alpha. They are goofballs. You they know are why fucking I'm laughing beta that you call him fat? Because one of his callers uh, Kate called in and basically uh, uh, put him on blast about uh, Fresh not losing weight and not basically keeping up with his speech therapy. Because he wanted he wanted to sit yeah. up here and tell women. He, and I was like, I was so shocked that they allowed someone from their own audience to call in and and he I, I maybe he didn't expect him uh to put him on blast like that but he was like yo man you still here trying to give us a advice and yet still you said you was going to lose weight two years ago you still fat and then uh also you said you was going to continue to your uh, your speech therapist but then your therapist said that you stopped coming and I was like, whoa. So that's when you said he's still fat. I was like, yeah, he is. <laughs> I was surprised you, was, yeah. you even said that. <laughs> I mean, Fresh is a fat, stuttering goofball who has no game with women at all. None. Has no, you know, I, I love my fiance and she loves me. And if you guys saw us together in real life, you would see that immediately. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, she's not the first girl I've been with. I'm going to be straight with you. Like, right. She knows that too. Right. And, you know, 
I have a certain personality on the internet, but in real life, like I have social skills. I went out and I talked to 7,000 women at bars and clubs. Like I learned this stuff the hard way. I was socially awkward growing up. I didn't like that. I liked hot girls. And I was like, how do I have sex with hot girls? Well, I bet if I talk to thousands of them, I'll figure it out along the way. If I actually do the hard work, that's going to take years and years and years and years. Not these stuttering fat goofballs on YouTube who see, who sell you fitness They don't advice show the why why don't to, why don't, don't do the guys they don't show do the, that why this is what I've always said about these men okay in the manosphere and the red pill why don't their audience make them show their work because they have no integrity themselves they have no spine either that's uh -huh. beta males love following other beta males not just blindly in circles but they actually resent alpha male behavior that a lot of these guys hate me they hate me again like it's alpha to tell people the truth and to tell it to speak boldly and to speak what you believe and this aggravates them mm. they like the pretense of that they like what they get from other beta males fellow right. beta males who are pretending to not be a beta male right fat fresh ceo who's a, the fake ceo the fat goofball who stutters too much they think that's an alpha male they think Myron, no. who puts dicks in his mouth, is an alpha male, who, who has no, there's not a single woman on the planet who has shown him genuine affection <clears throat> on a, in a photo or on a video ever, or in real life. None, anyway, none, none, nothing, none, zero, none, there's zero. none. And there's will, more and will pictures of Myron. Seven, 700, they will, hang on, they will pay him $700 for DMs on demand course. But they don't. But they won't even look on YouTube to see him DMing women, trying to Harvey Weinstein them into their fucking show down in Miami. Him yeah. and Fresh both doing this shit. Yeah, it's yeah. Sick. It's sick. It's sick. Oh it's my all god! Burn. Fuck all these women. People, man. Like, like. Here's so. So here's the deal. Like, these guys are basically finessing, taking financial advice, uh, taking financial. Um, they're exploiting, exploiting these men financially. Yeah. They're taking advantage of them. Well, the women are coming in now, too. The women have seen a gold mine, these guys. Well, the pearly okay, so you you introduce, we are, Pearl is on a down, oh my God, hold on. I don't want to stay on Pearl too long because you introduced a new one coming that I didn't even know about. I want to talk about her real quick because uh, we got 15 more minutes, but Pearl is on the massive decline. Pearl did me and me and my girl Lily. We basically keep we watch her like a hawk. But I have to say, Lily, I've been so busy. Lily have been watching her more like a hawk than I have. So I, uh, Lily has showed me a a, a, a poll that uh, Pearl did in reference to who's the most racist, right? And I was like, oh, this is gonna be good, right? <laughs> so. Of course, like you know, so, individuals. Yeah, or she put she put. I, I can tell you how it all started, how it all ended. So she put, "Who's the more racist, whites, Asians, blacks, or Hispanics?" And then I read through. First of all, the person that, that, that voted for fifty two percent, it turned out were black. That people voted fifty two percent black were the most racist. And so we not look through because most of her audience is black men, right? That's where she came from. She came from the black yeah. manosphere, right? So I'm looking at- well, No, the no, no, they're, they're, black, they're black simps. They're black simps. Yeah, they, well, simps. simps. Yeah, I, I would have to still say they came from that. I don't have no respect for, for, that, for that side of YouTube at all. Because they, the okay. one that cultivated- uh, pearly things and I and 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 I had actually said this to some of them I was like listen pearly things was not my problem you should have you guys should have taken care of her until she came on started grifting as a so-called traditional or so-called conservative this half ain't never been conservative but anyway so yeah. So I looked into because her most of her audience. This this is the reason why I do a lot of racial jokes about Pearl, about her being a coal burner, about her, you know, about being a mud shark. <laughs> I do do that, mud shark, you know. Yeah. Say so. I'm like, because yeah, I, yeah. I I I'm not saying it to be mean. I sincerely <laughs> believe in that. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying yeah, that's hilarious. That's, yeah, yeah. So so I've seen people on YouTube too in my comments. They post that kind of stuff. I'm like, oh man, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, and I, I'm like, hey, I'm I'm gonna do it because that's what I, I believe. But here's the deal: she had a she had a a, a, a Twitter space today, Anthony. And normally mm -hmm. she would get like anywhere from like 800 to like the last Twitter space I'm familiar with her having. 
I, I could have sworn I thought it was like a thousand or or maybe nine hundred, but it had your big your big people in there, like uh, Jason uh, Fat Boy Whitlock and 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 somebody and a couple of other names I'm not going to mention. But she had a Twitter Space today, and she only like it was it was fluctuating between eighty three and ninety one, and because. It was not a big it was not a big Twitter space for her. She stopped early. And I was like, she realized that she's on the massive decline because the shock yeah. jocking things like that is getting old. She's being clowned by women like me. Nobody's respecting her. So now, like, it's embarrassing to say as she's a man. She's gonna melt that, down. Oh, yeah. You think so? Yeah. To me She's gonna she's gonna melt down. She's gonna melt down. I mean, she she thought this would go on forever, that her 15 minutes of fame would be 15 hours or 15 years. And it's not. It's falling apart. These the beta males, the black beta males who follow her, who, who pump the algorithm for her, even that's going to fall apart. It's all going to fall apart. Uh, she's a, she's they, a, they seem she's like a masochists, too. That, she's I, an I ogre. I call her Shrek. I call her Shrek <laughs> sex wife. She's like an ogre. <laughs> She built like an ogre, like the green ogre and Shrek, you know, that big, the big woman. Yes, yes, Not when she's yes. a human, when she's like an ogre. Oh, it's going to fall apart. This girl is fucking clueless. She's a 26-year-old chubby bimbo who doesn't know anything about life, has zero life experience, zero relationship experience. Zero relationship silver, experience. Zero Was born with a silver spoon in her mouth. Daddy and mommy Daddy's, bought her everything. Yeah. She, hates her, she, she hates her fucking mother. You know, it's it's a fucking disaster. Yeah. Yeah. What is she's a, she's a boss bitch. She's a boss bitch, boss queen, a feminist boss queen is what she is. Pretending to be a trad wife who's just a trad hoe. Right. Getting banged out by right. London's finest dark dark chocolate. Right. That's the truth. Right. That's the truth. Right. Nothing but I don't even truth. know why. Like what's going on with that? Nothing I mean, but Well, up. I I think I think uh, cause I always said the white man's trash is the black man's treasure. And I, 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 think, that, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I think, Jeez. and I think the fact that she cannot get in high value white man. So of course, of course, Tyrone going to take her. Okay. So she got to go where she's I've seen, wanted. I've seen black guys simp for like 300 pound white women. It's just crazy to me. I don't understand it. <laughs> I don't understand. Look at Donald. Look at Conovan. Conovan <laughs> thinks he has a smoke <laughs> show. He like, has a 49 year old, 49, huh, almost 50 year old. Did you see that dress that she wore to her so called wedding? Did you see? I said she he looked like he she looked like he got her from the goddamn streets. She looked like she came yeah. straight off the yeah. streets. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Straight uh. off the streets with a, with a 16 year old kid. And, you know, recent until she got lipo recently, she was 100 pounds of weight. She got a bunch of surgery. Wait a minute. She so. had a, she still she has got, a five month old gut. She's got lipo such that she's still looking like that. Yeah. Yeah. And she's probably doing a bunch of cocaine. It looks to me like she's doing a lot of coke, her and the Conovan both. Well, they've always loved cocaine. It's I, a drug of I believe that because she said she stopped, she used to have a drinking problem. This is what she said. She said she stopped drinking. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, you, if you're going to be around somebody like Donovan and get treated that way, I, you have to drink. But I, I guess that she did, re, she replaced that with cocaine then. Is that what she did? Yeah. Okay. That makes as far sense. as I know, yeah, they she's always had a drug problem. It's she's had she's had a drug problem, all kinds of shit, prescription shit, like all kinds of shit for a long time. She's totally fucking nuts. But that's her gonna age nuts. her even more. You know what's funny is she used to say that that daughter that her daughter was her niece. She yeah, does have I know. A sister in real yeah, life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Her daughter. She doesn't Donovan have a niece. Was, Donovan she has, would get on that too. She has a nephew. Too. She has like a. She has like a 22 year old nephew, a, a young, young man. What? She doesn't have a niece. That girl is her daughter. Yeah, I know it's her, that daughter. Girl is her daughter. I know yeah, it's her six. daughter. I saw the paperwork, and Donovan tried to pretend that that was his niece too, like saying like I yeah. adopted niece. I'm like, uh, yeah, no, He's that's a that's that's, that's He's your stepdaughter. Don okay. Donovan, <laughs> Donovan is the Manosphere's number one stepfather, mm -hmm. top stepdaddy. Mm -hmm. Good for him, man. But the problem is he makes fun of single moms and he right. makes fun of stepfathers. Right. And he's right. done that for half a decade. Making and fun of these that's beta the males. hypocrisy I don't like. I don't like Donovan's yeah. hypocrisies where he want to say, I, you know, don't date a single mom. You sit up here and marry one. You sit, And not only that, but you said, don't get a woman to hit the wall, according to him. He got one that the wall fell on top of her. She And it's like... She double <laughs> Post wall, post 30 and post 40. Double post wall. Obese. 
hundred pounds yeah, overweight. That's overweight. a two hundred pounder. You know, say two hundred pounder. That woman. And, and all woman. he keeps doing is showing he's her like her breast. Built like a grouper. Yeah, he's she's like built I'm... like a sumo wrestler. <laughs> and she's almost fifty. She's postmenopausal. Postmenopausal, double post wall, seven, 16, 17 year old kid, almost out of the house. The kid's almost, she could be I, a grandma. I hope that, she could I be hope a grandma that young next lady year. is. She could is, be a grandma. I hope she's better she than. She is twice as old. She is twice as old as my fiance. Twice as old, almost to the day. That's how old No, 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 Anthony. Women. No, no, that's not fair. Donovan said that she's a nine in a perfect day, a 10. So you can't talk about no, her like a, that. She's a she's a hard nine, maybe even a little higher. But she's a dense woman. He calls her dense. <laughs> really dense. <laughs> Big bone. Yeah. Hey, you want to see some memes of Donovan? Let's see some memes. Yeah, let's see, let's, let's let's end it off with some memes. <laughs> yeah, let's see some memes. Okay, hold on a second. We see the memes. There we go. Yeah. That <laughs> so that's Donovan with Big Mama as Big Mama. <laughs> Donovan Shar, Big Mama, Frauds <laughs> Illustrated. We got plenty more, though. Don't worry. We got stepdaddy daycare there. I'm just getting warmed up. Don't worry. We got frauds in the hood. Oh, Lord. Once upon a time in the manosphere. With the blue caps. Upon... <laughs> they capping. They always capping. They... 4K Ultra HD. Sharp Mama 2, down in the shark. Silent but deadly. Oh, no, he's going to show my wet. favorite. Where's my favorite? He's going to show my favorite. One. I love this one, but uh, the one yeah. uh, with the Miss Piggy is the one I love the most right here. Oh, I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up. Yeah, okay, yeah. 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 The Shardy Professor 2, The Sips. Yeah, The Sips. Yeah, I made a new one. Oh, here's uh, here's Pearly Things. Yeah, it's the Pearly siren. Things. Oh, God, that woman just... Ugh. If you need I made a, this if, one too the other day. If you if you need us if you need an alarm to wake you up, you know, from a sleep, you know, that that this is the face you use to wake yourself up at night, Sue. That's that. Let's see uh the piggy one. Oh, here's Jesse Lee yeah. Peterson, if you guys know him. Yeah, I no, Jesse we Lee love Jesse. <laughs> He's gay. He's a predator. We love Jesse. He's we a love homosexual him. Super I know, predator. I know that you guys, I know there's a big, <laughs> big, big well, but here's <laughs> here's the best one. Yes, <laughs> he riding Donovan. He riding her. Yeah, ride that donkey, baby. Okay, ride. Now, it. if you look closely here, I added a little nice touch here in the bottom because it's a nice pig. You shitting that she was. What is, what is that? I don't yeah. know what that is. What is? Those are uh, poop emojis. <laughs> <laughs> She's shitting. I just thought it was a nice touch, you know? <laughs> oh my uh, God. I know the one you're talking about, the wedding one, but I don't know how to find them. Oh, you, okay. You were talking about this yeah. one earlier. Yeah, I, 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 uh, that's, yeah, that's, that's the ones one. I had leaked. I, leaked. I was like, yeah, yeah, baby, I'm gonna let everybody know about that. Oh, that, this that, one, you're talking go, about. There it go, there it go, there it go. Yes, that's my favorite right there, baby. <laughs> yeah. It's a great one, it's that's a great one. the I love one I love the most. <laughs> <laughs> this one, this is one. real. This is a real photo of her. Oh this God! Is a real photo of her. She got cellulite in the back of her arm. She needs to go to the gym. She needs a lot of work. She needs to do a lot. Wait a minute! You said woman. she? Are you sure she got liposuction? There's no way she had got liposuction. She got lipo after. I think at, this is from like a year ago. Oh, this, okay, uh, this okay. Picture. This is this was on their this is on their YouTube last year. I took it. This is a screenshot off a of video or something I took. Oh my I put the pigs God, in, obviously, in the background. Dude. She looks this is an awful. Update. <laughs> Single <laughs> mama edition. <laughs> the pig, the little piggy. The piglet. Uh, oh, here's my baby mama, by the way. This is my fiance. Oh, my God. Thank you very much. Oh, she's so gorgeous. Yeah. Oh my and she's not God. 50, and she's not 100 pounds overweight. Oh, man. Yeah. Let me see if I can find uh, this. I love this one. I love this one of Pearly. This is one of my favorites I made. Who's the guy? This one's custom. It's this e Adam from Adam and Eve. This is supposed to be Adam and Eve, like, you know, from the Bible and stuff. I just love it. Because her red pill, she gives these guys this fake bullshit. It's this feminist Yeah, crap. she does. But you need to make them black. 
This is uh <laughs> this is Time magazine single mom of the year. Devon that that Sharp. has no no no. That has to be a very, very old picture of her. That yeah, has to be a about very 2015, from what I was told. 2015. So not that long ago. I mean, 2015. You sure? You know, she look, yeah. She looks a little younger all, in that one, though. Like, right now, you could tell is, the alcohol has, like, if you look at a picture of her today, you could tell the alcohol has really taken a toll on her. In this picture, not so much. She's much younger, though. I mean, this is Yeah, eight, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Ago, this, this what I'm saying. I'm like, in 250... 2015. This is one of my this is one of my favorites. This one I think is savage. <laughs> She's a dragon, a pig dragon. What? I got a million of these. What he's is so, on top he's of so, Donovan's head? <laughs> what is <laughs> it's from the cartoon? It's from the this is a real movie poster. How to train your dragon. How to train your single mom. I just had to do a couple. I even put the red pill, their logo on the tail. It's like official red pill single mom dragon. <laughs> <laughs> if you go on my it's channel, so, I got these. It's so appropriate, this is, though. This is Michaela Peterson, Jordan Peterson. Oh daughter. yeah, I, I like can't stand her, dude. I can't stand this her. Slut, at all. This oh my slut. God. Oh, God, Lord and mercy. All right, show one more. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna hold it down. Show you, show. Uh... There's one of Rolo. There you go. Okay, there you go. I don't, I don't always wipe always... up. <laughs> go ahead. Go, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. You, 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 but, but when I do, I bitch about it for the next twenty years. <laughs> There's one of uh, that is so is appropriate. That is. <laughs> I think that's all I got for those. Okay, but, all yeah, right. One... Yeah, we can call it quits on that. Thank okay. you. That was I really love drawing those off. Those are my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> I hope your I hope your channel. They doing... loved it. They are laughing. They are they they got the dead emojis going on in here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they are laughing. <laughs> Oh, so yep. so they agreed. It was like the picture. I was like, wait a minute, she looks younger there. They, some of the some of the people are like, well, she looks pretty on on that one. I wouldn't go that far, ladies, but she yeah. does look a little younger on that one. She looks decent. I wouldn't say pretty. yeah, she was younger. Yeah, she was. Yeah, uh, I mean, she she was probably pretty when she was like, well, um, this is a stretch, but maybe like twenty twenty five years ago. She was decent, okay. but that's a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she hasn't been pretty. She hasn't been decent looking since the nineties. Mm. I would say. I agree. So she, <laughs> she's big old. She's a big old nasty woman. I mean, Donovan kind of got the bottom of the barrel. Yeah, well, he's look, at on, the, on the bottom. Looks, he's of course he's well, gonna get the bottom of the barrel. He's at the bottom. Well, on her looks though, she's like she's like what a three out of ten maybe. Uh, but on the sexual marketplace in general, she's like a one out of ten. Uh, I mean, well, she, she already had a baggage. daughter, so. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. exactly. So yeah, she's divorced. You know who filed for divorce? She didn't file for divorce. The husband divorced her ass. Really? Which is on un- Yeah. Which is yeah. Look at I have the document. You can see it. He filed for it. That's how nasty she was. Oh, she, God. How many men file divorce? Twenty percent of divorces are filed by men. I mean, you got to be pretty nasty bitch to get divorced by your husband. Yeah. You got to do yeah, some real Because men are stupid, normally you know? men are slow to pull the trigger. So there's that. Yeah. All right, yeah. Anthony. Tell so, everybody yeah. how they can find you, and uh, they can go to. And I'm gonna have all your stuff. Okay. Uh, can you also uh, send me a DM so I can put all your? Because sure. what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the stream off so it can be a standalone video, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna put all of your links in the description box below, and then uh, cool. and then we'll we'll have that ready for everybody. But go ahead and tell everybody verbally, just in the kit, just in case for the people who are just sure. listening to us. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate you having me on. And for everybody watching, you can come find me at 21studios.com, 21university.com. And you can follow me on Twitter at Beach Muscles. And on YouTube, just search Anthony Dream Johnson or 21 Studios. I have a few different channels. So I appreciate you having me on. It's been a lot of fun roasting these frauds and pigs. It was. I had a ball. I love what you do. (laughs) Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad. I had fun too. Yeah. All right, guys. Now, listen, I will be back. Let me go ahead and shut this down so it can be an individual video. Uh, what time is it? Give me about five minutes to restart a new stream, and then uh, we can continue the roasting of. of, of. I wanna, I wanna talk about uh, fresh and fraud some more uh, when we come back. So, uh, but once again, I want to thank Anthony for stopping by. It was a pleasure. We're gonna definitely have you come on again, and uh, yeah, pick up where we left off because I don't even think we scratched the surface. What you think?
Yeah, there's there's a lot more to talk about. That's yeah, for sure. a whole lot more. Okay, all right, guys, uh, give me about five minutes and I'll see you later. Okay, later, taters. <laughs>